it is hot today i am just um i just ran some errands picked up my parcel and here i am filming a video for you guys you are welcome mm. Mm -mm. <sighs> so just take that off <clears throat> hi my fellow june bugs welcome back to my channel so today i have an exciting video because I have got a reveal for you. I just picked it up from the post office and it is a vintage um, designer bag that I have been talking about on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on there, do make sure to check it out. I post all of my, like, I haven't been active on my blog as much lately and I do apologize. I've just been really, really busy. Um, so I have actually been more active on my Instagram. So if you want to see how I style my bags, my fashion, you know, what I'm wearing, make sure to check it out and subscribe over there. But as I said, I did talk about recently, you know, coming across or making another vintage handbag purchase. And here I am to reveal it for you guys. It is an unboxing. Bit nervous because it is from a private seller and you just never know with these private sellers, you know, how the bag looks in terms of the condition of the bag. But yeah, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is June. I am a doctor by day and I moonlight as a YouTuber. If you are curious as to what type of videos I make or if you like, the video that you're watching so far would love it for you to subscribe um so that i can see you again in my next video and to my fellow june bugs welcome i hope you guys like that name i really hope you like that name because <laughs> that is what i'm calling you from now on <laughs> i apologize if you can tell my eyes are a little bit uneven it's because i still i have a calaisian on this eye um but anyways there's a lump on my eyelid there it's non-infectious it's a cyst I have to just wait for it to settle down, otherwise I might have to get it removed. But anyways, let's hope not. Um, <clears throat> got my parcel here. I purchased it on eBay from like an eBay seller um, and she is designer labels for you um, down in Victoria. It is a bag that I've been watching on eBay for a while and I just couldn't, like I couldn't bring myself to buy it because she was selling it for $1,350 at the time and I was like, oh, it's just so expensive. I can't really justify that price. Um, I did, after some time, decide to give her an offer because she had reduced it down to like $1,100 or $150 and I just, I really wanted to get it under $1,000 so I did make an offer of nine hundred um and after which you know chatting back and forth she did end up accepting so this vintage baby did cost me nine hundred australian dollars it is a vintage piece but it is quite rare i think i've i saw it once before i don't know how much i saw it um selling for when i first first saw it um but i think it was probably around nine hundred eight hundred dollars a little bit cheaper maybe but um i've but I don't know, I just, I love this. I saw it and I'm really hoping it is as described. It's one of those things, obviously, with especially with vintage bags, you just never know the description. And I'm a bit more wary with Australian resellers or even just private resellers in general. The pictures can be a little bit misleading, whereas Japanese consignment sellers, they tend to describe their items a little bit better. So we will see, here we go. Just opening it up. So it does just come in like this express post parcel bag which i'm not actually too mad about because you know this item is like a vintage piece so i'm not expecting it to come in a box or anything all right here we go oh this is so cute oh my gosh so sarah is actually the one who talked to me um and she was so lovely so thank you so much sarah look at this how gorgeous is that so thank you for your purchase designer labels for you. She didn't know who I was. I was just, you know, communicating as a regular customer. Um, so yeah, she was really lovely. She's got her own ribbon. That's so cute. Here we go. Okay. So she just put it in like this sort of random dust bag because I don't think she had like a dust bag to go with it to reveal oh my god it's so cute oh you guys you guys are gonna flip out because i am so, like i've not seen this bag anywhere else you ready da, 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 da. it is a bendy backpack oh my god it's so funny how much more excited i get about like vintage bags like <laughs> 
you can tell from my unboxings how much more excited I get. Wow, 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 wow. Like this condition is amazing. Check it out, you guys. Check it out. <gasps> The um, canvas is in such, such good condition. It's got like Fendi FF logos right there. Just there. Um, and there. Oh my God, it is adorable. There's some wear on the clasp, which is, you know, fine. It's like a vintage bag. And so it is a um, canvas bag um, with some leather trims on it. So you open it up like an S-lock and... Um, Louis Vuitton. Oh my gosh. Wow. And then this is how the interior looks like. It's quite sturdy. It's so well made. And then it's got a pocket at the back, which is, um, you know, the pocket isn't like the zipper on the pocket at the back isn't as smooth as Louis Vuitton, which you can probably expect because it, you know, it's not a Louis Vuitton bag, but it is really, really clean in the interior there. Um, it's got a logo, um, it's got the Fendi like serial code. In the lining, it's got Fendi in the lining. I mean, everything matches up. Even on the um, grommets, it's got Fendi. Um, on the, it's got four feet at the bottom. And then it's got like a pull tab here, which says Fendi. Just wow, you guys. Like, God, this is so stinking cute. I'm so happy. There is some wear and tear of like the um, leather strap itself, which I'm not mad about. Like you have to be, you know, um, pretty reasonable about the condition that you're finding these vintage bags in. Like obviously, unless the person never used it, there's gonna be some wear to them. So this is how it looked like on the website. I didn't really like how this came out, but I do think that if you stuff it a bit more this is how it will look like. How freaking cute! Oh my god! It's also got a top handle on this bag and you've got a removable strap here which you can actually take off, which was what sold me. And then, if I just close this. Hello, does this not remind you of, of another bag, you guys? Like, does this not remind you of something that has recently come out. Hello, like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Um, I think if you had a longer strap, um, you could also wear it as crossbody, obviously. This is a little bit too short for crossbody. I actually really like the straps are very short because it would be perfect for me. I can't, I can't even tell you like how excited I am. It's just so funny to me how like, you know, you can see how much more excited I get about like vintage bags than I do about um, like brand new bags. Wow, just wow, wow, wow. So anyways, um, let me just put some stuff in there. Oh, and the pocket, it's got another pocket at the front as well where you can just put like little coins or, you know, um, I don't know, cards, whatever. So I'm using my Celine Nano bag, which I'm loving at the moment. I'm so, so glad I kept it. It's such a cute, cute little piece, especially for summer. What I did end up doing was just tying this strap, which, you know, I'm not too fussed about because, look, I would rather wear the bag than worry about, you know, wearing out the strap. Um, I could get it shortened, but then I don't want to change like the actual bag itself. So I've just, um, shortened it and then when I'm not wearing it, I'll unshorten it and then use the other side. So yeah, I just really want to be able to use it. So that's why I did that. Please don't come for me in this comment section because I know it's going to damage the bag strap. I know that, but sometimes, you know, bags are there to be worn. And if that means that I can actually wear the bag and use it crossbody, I'm going to do it, you know? Um, and I just like it with that strap. I would rather not, like, I'm happy to replace this strap if I needed, but I actually really like how that strap looks with that bag. So anyways, so I'm just going to open it up and just put stuff inside. It's probably the same size as this, if you can see that. It's such a cute bag. I thought it was going to be really small, um, but it's actually a, a really, really nice size. I'm just going to close that up. 
so cute. So this is the bag, you guys. It's stinking adorable. <laughs> ah, I just can't even. And then it's got the two backpack straps here. There we go. And that is the bag. Let me just show you how it looks on me. Wow, so cute. So cute! I can also just carry it like this if I wanted. Um, and then let me just get another strap. Right, so I've just got a strap here. I do have like a brown and a black one, but I just can't find it at the moment. So what I might do is I'll take this off. I know it's not matching right now. Probably look better with like a black strap. You could just wear it like a bag like this. Although I much, much prefer it as a backpack, like I'm not gonna lie. But you could, if you really wanted to, you could definitely wear it as a crossbody if that's something you would like to do. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Okay, you guys, that is it. That is my latest handbag. What do you guys think? Are you excited how much like, tell me how much you love this bag. It is so, so cute. And I am I just can't believe how great um, the condition of the canvas is. Um, in terms of, like, the leather itself, the only major wear and tear I can see is probably on the, sh on the clasp here where there's, you know, a bit of, like, it's turning silver um, from, I guess, you know, just the opening and closing. There is a bit of cracking of the um, leather here. Just there you can see. Um, and then probably the only other wear and tear I can see is, you know, from the actual drawstring clasp there itself. But it's such an amazing weight. It's so substantial. Um, uh, like you can just tell from how it feels. Like you can tell that it is a designer bag. Like in my mind, there's no doubt that this is like a authentic Fendi piece. But obviously, I do have to still get it authenticated because I'm just not really familiar with Fendi. Um, like Louis Vuitton, I could probably like authenticate it myself. I have so many. It's just you know you can tell. You can just compare. So it's a lot easier. Um, but. Fendi, I'm not familiar with, especially vintage Fendi, um, but yeah, ha, 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 so, so cute. So that is it, you guys. That is my um, Fendi reveal. If you liked it, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you want me to do like a vintage bag collection, I know I did one last year, but if you want me to do another one, do let me know. Or just my favorite vintage pieces, including like shoes as well. Let me know. It's honestly one of my favorite, favorite like things to buy. Like. It's just, it's not even funny how obsessed I get sometimes with finding really, really nice vintage pieces. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, if you're a fellow like vintage lover like myself, or even just pre-loved bags. If you are new here, I really do hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I would love to have you back. If you like these type of videos, feel free to subscribe and then hit the notification bell so um, you'll know when my next video will come up. If you guys are curious about this makeup look and you Want to recreate it i do actually have a video coming up so stay tuned for that one like i have a makeup tutorial it was super easy anyone can do it so make sure to stay tuned for that one and as always hope you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend i will see you guys in my next one bye